Are you a ham radio operator that lives in an apartment and can't put an HF antenna outside? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you a solution that's gonna help get you on the air. My name's Mike K at MRD. This is Ham Radio Tube. Now, in the past, when I've answered this question, generally my answer was a magnetic loop. But I've also gone on record stating that I would do anything in the world to not have to use a magnetic loop. So I came up with another solution. We're gonna use a Wolf River Coils and the KB9 VBR Magic Carpet, also known as a window screen. Let's take a look. Now the antenna we're gonna use would be, if you were to just go to wolfrivercoils.com and buy an antenna, this would be their soda special. It's gonna be the Silver Bullet Mini. You're gonna get three 12 inch tripod legs. You're gonna get the little center uh, tripod mount and it's gonna come with a 78 inch telescopic whip. Now the magic of all this is this screen right here. Now this is a 16 inch wide by 12 foot long stainless steel screen. It is important you have a metal screen so it is conductive. Do not use a plastic screen. So the first thing we need to do is roll out the screen. And it wants to roll back. And because of that memory effect, we actually wanna turn it upside down and by upside down, I mean so it wants to kind of roll into the floor. Just like that. Now we can start putting the tripod legs on our Wolf River coils. I've also added a 90 degree elbow bracket to the bottom of the tripod just to make connecting our coax a bit easier. Then we can go ahead and attach the coil and our 78 inch whip. And my ceilings are eight feet for reference. Now once that's done, all we have to do is place the Wolf River coils on the screen. Now this isn't wide enough for all three tripod legs to fit on here, but that's okay. I found that just kind of putting the center of the Wolf River coil over the uh, center of the screen Two of these metal legs are making contact with this screen and that's all we need to connect basically the shield to the screen and use this screen as an effective ground radial system. Now we can go ahead and attach our coax. I'm just using a short length of RG316 with a BNC adapter on here as well and we are done. Now we just have to tune the antenna. So let's take a look at how good this thing tunes up. And just take a look at that. Is 1.03 to 1 on 40 meters good enough for you? That's pretty impressive. Here's a look at 20 meters under 1.5 to 1 across the entire band. Amazing. Here's a look at 17 meters, 1.26 to 1 pretty much across the whole band. 15 meters is looking amazing, like under 1.3 to 1 across the whole frickin' band. That's great. There's 12 meters, 1.15 at the bottom, probably 1.3 at the top, I mean, just stellar. And look at 10 meters from all the way down in the CW portion, all the way up through the entire band in the, in the single sideband portion where all the techs can hang out and where most of the activity is, FT8, CW, single sideband, all that, very, very low SWR, even all the way up into the FM portion. Absolutely amazing. So check this out. I've just got the 705 hooked up. Did put a little choke on the coax there. We're on 10 meter FT8 right now and we're hearing signals. That's awesome, inside the house. We're here in uh, Pennsylvania, Michigan, California, Nevada, all over the place. Now, these signals are not nearly as strong as my antenna outside, obviously. Here's a screenshot from my 80 meter NFED half wave. Obviously, way more signals are gonna be heard when you have an antenna outside, but this just proves that you can actually play ham radio inside or hear signals. So let's see if we can make a contact. Got the 705 hooked up to a battery. We're running 100% power, which is 10 watts. Let's see what happens. And look at that SWR, barely anything. Look, we're seeing K6EGG in California. He's coming in minus eight. All right, after four calls, we're getting W6 slash UT5UF, we'll have to see where he is. We'll put it up on the screen there, maybe if I can find him. Plus three, he's got a great signal coming in. But can we complete the QSO? That is the million dollar question. Oh, it's working, it's working. 
Got it. That was Ukraine on 10 meters with the Wolf River coils inside the house with the magic carpet. That is absolutely amazing. And I was picked up on ham alert. This actually works. How cool is that? Let's see if we can get Greg in California. Got him. Ha! How freaking cool is that? <laughs> Houston to Los Angeles. Now let's try 20 meters. See if we can make a contact. There's stations out there. Wow, first call. Look at that. And just got picked up on ham alert. He's in Kansas. Come on, do it now. Get to the contact. Got it. Ha! You gotta love that. So how freaking cool was that? We just made contacts from inside the house with a Wolf River Coils antenna on a window screen. We've got DX all the way out to Ukraine. That was amazing. Now, I can't stress enough how incredibly compromised of an antenna situation this is. If you have any way to get your antenna outside, if you've got a balcony, you can set this same setup on your balcony. If you can get that antenna up outside, it's gonna be even better for you. Didn't really have any success on phone. It did work quite, quite well for digital, uh, but we didn't, I didn't see as many signals uh, on the inside antenna as I did my outside antenna. On phone, take a look, here's the 7610 with an 80 meter NFED half wave outside. You can see all kinds of signals versus the 705 on the Wolf River coils inside. There's nary a signal to be heard on phone. Now I did hear some people, they were really low though. I was looking all around the POTA spots. I did hear some guys on 14.332 on the YL net. I'm sure a lot of those guys are using amplifiers. I don't know how well I would have been able to uh, even get out to them, but it's something. You can get on the air with an inside antenna and that's the whole point of this. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again on another episode of Ham Radio Tube. 73 guys.